Traders winner great again goes up. They're ready to run. Over the 1300, this movement coming out of the stalls, but they're racing now. And the first to get going, Kingdom and Empire with the grey vital silver. Away quickly, Vega Dior, great again, fired up there. Sharp Bob came out running but couldn't cross, so he has to quickly drop anchor and ease back just in front of Atlanta Blue and Awaken. Ease while drifting right back into the field by the thousand. Peppy Jack and last of all, as they go up onto that far corner, is sixpence spent. About seven or eight lengths had covered the field in the early stages, and great again, got a little fiery here against Glenn Smith. To the side they go, great again, more than a length in front. Vital Silver handing up second to Vega Dior who goes around the outside. Trailed in turn by Sharp Bob. A length and a half Kingdom and Empire being followed by Atlanta Blue. Down on the inside at the 550 is awakened back there with ease while Peppy Jack and Sixpence spent. They're about to turn here at the 400 and into the straight they set sail and the leader is great again. It had snuck a length and a half to Vega Dior. Sharp Bob down on the inside. Vital Silver with Atlanta Blue starting to wind up but great again is going great guns at the 200 it booted over two in front of Vega Dior followed then by Atlanta Blue it's great again with less than a hundred to go nicely clear Atlanta Blue goes to second from Vega Dior but it's great again great again salutes again beats home Atlanta Blue Vega Dior Peppy Jack a bit of a run then Vital Silver followed by Sixpence spent the tiring sharp Bob Kingdom and Empire awaken next home and the last o'clock in is Eastwold. Number six, the winner, great again. The Northern Traders winner first up. Trained by Lindsay Smith and ridden by Glenn Smith. Has done it from go to woe. He hit the bridle pretty hard and he wanted to roll, but once he was rolling, there was no stopping. And he just extended and got that lead further and further at the 200. Atlanta Blues given chase to get within about a length of him at the finish. Vega to your third. Peppy Jack at Bolter's odds. Runs on to grab fourth from Vital Silver. But great again dominating from the front for distinct racing and breeding. Glenn Smith there on this son of Viscount from free at last, of course. The former very, very smart mare of her time. And uh, he looks as though he's just going to get better and better as he goes out over a little bit further to the way that he has won this afternoon at his second start this preparation. So it's two goes, two wins at this stage. And he won it comfortably. Waiting for these minors to be confirmed. It'll be Atlanta Blue second. Lucy Warwick by Cardinal Virtue out of Nikita Blue, prepared by Jason Pateman. And uh, there in third money, Vega Dior, is by Lope de Vega from Admirable, Sean Casey and Patrick Carberry. And here are the other details with uh, Peppy Jack running on and uh, adds a little bit of luster there into the exotics, that's for sure and certain. So it's eight goes now, four wins and three placings for great again. Rising six-year-old hasn't done a lot of racing, that is for sure. Scored by one length, one and three quarters between second and third. The time was 117.79. 117.79, that's a pretty good run at this time of the year. A really good run in actual fact. And 35.18 is the 600 split. 6 1, 12 and 11. They are the official placings after the running of the fourth as Glenn Smith comes back aboard the winner in the distinct racing and breeding silks. Race 5, 1300 at 5 after 3. The leading apprentice handicap. And it's a full complement of runners there. There are no changes to the opening leg of the quaddy. Well, let's get to the yard now, find out a bit more where this horse is progressing. That was a strong, a bold effort to do it from go to woe, Gareth, here in the fourth. Was a really good effort by Great again. He was well back late, Lindsay. She was a confident ride too by Glenn Smith. Yeah, well he, uh, I told Glenn that um, it wouldn't hurt if he did lead. Uh, if they were going, because he's, I've kept him a little bit fresh since Northam, and um, he's been down just wading through the beach down to Quinata there, and he's. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to train him a little bit different. I thought he was like his mother. Alan Matthews had his mother, and she was a good tough horse, but I think he might have the. Uh, the Viscount side in him. And he's been a horse that you seem to, as you just pointed out, to work out, and now he's he's taken the next step, this preparation, because he's always showed above average ability. Yeah, one day uh, he ran second to uh, Wrinkley uh, and Douglas Wright rode him. I thought it was a good win, but he had a gut bust that day, and his, his next two runs were, were, were average. And uh, so this time he's uh, done very little work, and uh, yeah, maybe he, he's a mile and that's it. Yep. And where do we see him next? Do you continue on just sending him to the beach? 
Yeah, well, that's what he'll do. He'll uh, stay at home and he'll um, he'll go to the beach. And um, the girls, we got them a wetsuit, so it's going to get a bit cold. But you might want to come down. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, yeah. You don't get out. You don't get out of bed till seven o'clock anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Well done, Lynn. Cheers. There's Lindsay Smith. Here's Glenn Smith. Oh, from one Smith to another. Thanks, Gareth. Glenn Smith, congratulations. A lovely win there with Great Again. Did you always want to find the leader, or is it a case of he's just that strong? Oh, Lindsay said if he happened to find the front, don't be too worried about it, because um, he's sort of can get pulling a little bit. So we rolled across, and if Taylor wanted to go, I was going to let her go, but sort of got half length in front of her and just sort of used him up a little bit to get there. But once he got there, he switched right off, which was great. That's the best thing, I guess, is that with a horse that is so strong that when he finds that front, he just settled. And then when you asked him for the effort, was there always a lot in the tank? There was, yeah. He um, sort of, he's pricked his ears a couple of times, so I knew he was only coasting. Sort of dug him up with the spurs, sort of um, getting to about the 500, and he really responded. And I sort of was able to not really go for him till the last couple of hundred, and I kept digging those spurs, and he responded beautifully. Do you think he'll get better over further? I think so, yeah. He... Um, He's still learning. He's a five-year-old, but he's only had those eight starts now, so I think he'll get better with a little bit more racing, and um, once he gets up to a mile, he'll be probably better suited as well. Looking forward to seeing him step up again. Congratulations. No worries, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that, Brittany, catching up with Glenn Smith, and we'll be back before race number five, the first leg of the quaddy here from Belmont today.